here to show you guys a few simple ways to style your hair with scarves or ties. Here I have three different things that I will be working with. I have a chiffoni long thin scarf. I have a really big silk square scarf. This is my mom's. And last, I have this really cute clip-on adjustable bow tie. And I got this at a thrift store for $2. And all of these things you can definitely find at a thrift store, so definitely go check it out. Before we start, I just wanted to say that this video is for Shelly and Cosette. Both of them are amazing beauty gurus on YouTube. And they both know how hair handicapped I am. And this video is for you guys. And knowing how bad I am with hair, I'm sure you guys can do a much better job than I am. But here I am showing just what I know. So I hope you guys enjoy. With the chiffon scarf, we're going to be doing a side braid. And first, you take your hair, bring it all to one side. Then taking the scarf, place it on top of your head. So once you have everything on one side, you take all of it, every bit of it, the hair and the scarves, and section your hair off into three even pieces. See? In one section. So, we're going to start braiding. If you guys are having difficulties seeing with my black hair, then, there's Google where you type in how to braid hair. So as you can see, your hair is incorporated with the braid. And once you're done, if like me you have excess braid here, you can tie it off and you can tie a bow if you'd like or you could leave it dangling I like to leave it dangling so I pull what you do is you take your braid and you just kind of Pull it apart and then I like some pieces here too. If you guys have been noticing, the side braid has been really popular right now thanks to the Alexander Wang Spring Summer 2010 show. So this is just another twist to it. You can add a little bit of color. Okay, so the next tie that we're going to be working with is the square scarf and it may look big but we can make it look small so what we're going to do is we're going to take the square and fold it in half like a triangle so what you do is you just keep flipping it towards you so my scarf looks like this so what we're going to do is we're going to tie our hair. This is the hippie-esque style. You could tie it anywhere you want. You could tie it straight across your forehead. I like to start at the beginning of my hairline. So take it around the back, crisscross, and tie off. Here you go. The next one that I want to show you guys is also one that Nicole Richie often wears. You take your square scarf and you fold it in half again where the corners meet like a triangle. And if your square scarf is big like mine, then you could fold it over one more time. So you take your scarf and you place the corner at the top of your head and have 
the front covering your forehead. Then you tie just the regular knot. If you have some corner sticking out, just tuck it in. And there you have it. And if you have some strands that you want to tuck in, tuck it in. This is a very bohemian look. It's definitely very Nicole Richie. And you guys can definitely try it out. It's just another way that you can keep your hair out of your face also. So we can move on to the next one. So the next two that I'm going to show you guys require you to tie your hair into a bun. So once you have your hair all gathered up into a really high ponytail, you take your hand and you begin twisting your hair just a little bit so that it starts rolling up at the front. And I don't like to twist anymore because I want my bun to look messy. So I just take my hair and then I wind the rest of it to the top of my head. So what I like to do is I like to take my bangs and I like to kind of make it poof a little bit. So push it forward just a little and then pin it up. Next, we're going to take our scarf, fold it until it's pretty thin, and then what you do is you place the band a little behind your poof. Then you take it, your scarf, and wrap it. I like to overlap my ears a little bit. And then you tie either a knot or a bow. And this look is kind of like the rockabilly-esque look. It's one of my favorite looks. I wore this on my cruise. And I can assure you that this look is monkey safe. What actually happened was the monkey took the bobby pin out of my hair, but he didn't untie my scarf, which means that it's a hundred percent monkey proof. Really great look for the summer, vintage inspired, and then we can do the next one. So the looks that I'm going to be doing with this bow tie are actually the looks that are the easiest in this tutorial. It takes absolutely no time at all and really a clip-on bow tie is actually a very versatile piece in your wardrobe especially because bows are very um, trendy this season. For the first one what we're going to do is we're going to take the bow and shorten it and with your bun you're going to take the bow place it at the top of your head or anywhere you want and wrap the piece around. Then you just clip on and connect the bow. And you have a cute accessory to go with your outfit. So we can go on to the next one. If you guys have a really basic outfit that you want to amp up, then you could take your bow tie. You pull the adjuster to the very longest so that you have as much length to work with and taking your bow tie you take it around and then clip it to the end of it and if it's a little loose then you can adjust it so you can wear your bow tie like this on the side or like this if you like or like this in the back so i hope you guys enjoyed these really simple tutorials and remember to have fun with it see you later bye